We have talked about Bartholomew equation uh, under cathodic, under anodic bias condition, and on at equilibrium. But what uh, would the um, we get as a polarization curve if we actually plug some numbers into the Bartholomew equation? So let's look at it. This is our Bartholomew equation. Simplified form, remember, we said it applies only under the assumption of no mass transport limitation, which means you actively stir or you keep the current density very low. But with this equation, let's just plug some numbers. Assuming the temperature is um, room temperature, 25 degrees C or 298.15 Kelvin, Beta, which is symmetry factor 0.5, and then J0, the exchange current density would be 50 milliamp per square centimeter or 0 0.05 amp per square centimeter. So if we put these, plug this number in, R, of course, you know, F, you know, um, N is 1. Under such condition, we can get plots like this. The black curve is for the overall or for the net current density. The red dotted curve is for JA or anodic or oxidation current density, while the blue dashed one represents the cathodic or reduction um, current density and the summation between anodic and cathodic between the red and the blue give us the net or the overall current density okay and we get this with these assumptions now with this let's say at equilibrium as you can imagine at equilibrium means over potential horizontal axis Vertical is net current density, and equilibrium means over potential is zero. So at zero over potential, of course, the overall current would be zero. But at zero over potential, the anodic current density would just be, as we said earlier, J zero, our exchange current density, positive, while the cathodic would still also be J0, but with a minus sign. And the plus, minus, add up summation, you get at zero polarization, the current net or overall current density would be J0 minus J0 would be zero, okay? Which means equilibrium, no net or overall reaction. That's the situation under equilibrium. Then, to the positive side, eta over potential is greater than zero. That is anodic bias or anodic polarization. And as you can see, the overall current would also be positive, which means overall would go into anodic reaction or oxidation reaction. Okay anodic or oxidation reaction and in the, actually what happens is under anodic polarization the current anodic current would be in magnitude greater than the cathodic current and anodic positive cathodic negative but uh, the ja absolute value is greater than jc absolute value so overall we would get an absolute positive value for overall current density on the other side, with negative over potential, with negative over potential, and uh, the plot shows the overall current density is negative. But what actually happens would be the cathodic current density has larger and larger absolute value compared with the anodic. And the cathodic is negative. So overall, we are having a negative current, meaning the reaction under this condition is going through the reduction process. On the other side, positive anodic, meaning the overall reaction is going along the oxidation or 
um, analytic process. So right side positive eta, analytic or oxidation, left side negative eta, we got uh, cathodic or reduction process.